Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I'm here today for Graphic Fairies Tag Team Friday. Um, I am going to share a tag today made from the Decorator Bundle. When that bundle came out, I absolutely fell in love with it. There are some great vintage looking images. There is a, a brilliant color wheel in there. Um, but one of the things I really, really loved was this uh, color sample chart. So this is what I used for my project. Um, I printed it out a couple times. We'll, we'll use it to do some different things. Um, she is so cute. And I made just a little little pocket here. It's, it's almost hidden. You can't really see it because I've lined this up but it's got a nice little pocket to t tuck something. Um, I just tied it with a little bit of, it's kind of a thin rope. And the back is blank. Um, I might write on it. I don't know yet what I'm gonna use this for, um, but it's made out of a Pentaflex file folder. We were cleaning out the files in our office and there was a stack that was gonna get pitched and I couldn't see that happen. So um, anyway, this is what we're gonna to make today. So let's get started with that. Um, like I said, I used, um, I loved these paint samples. So I went ahead and I printed them two to a sheet. Um, I've got two of them here. Um, I printed two full sheets because we're gonna use one for the background, one's gonna be the pocket, and then we're gonna use the third to cut out these tiny little paint chips and we're gonna give them a little bit of dimension. They're sitting on a little bit of foam tape, just so, just so it gives it just the slightest bit of dimension. In real life, it's easier to see that. It's a little bit tricky on camera, but I think you can see these have a slight shadow under them, and that's because there's a little bit of foam tape under them. So that's why you need the third. If you don't want to do the raised up chips, you don't need to print it three times, but I, I liked the dimension. So I printed on just on cardstock. I printed that and I also printed out this darling, darling lady. Um, I printed her four to a sheet. So you're only gonna need one for this project, um, but if I'm in a print, I just go ahead and I make sure my page is filled up. So I'll end up using her somewhere else. So to start with, I fussy cut her. Um, I cut out all the way around her and she's really cute, but she has this really funny bump on her hip and I didn't like that. So she got a little bit of plastic surgery with a pair of scissors. So she's got a nice smoothed out hip. So we need her. We need one of the file folders, and I cut this file folder so that it was just slightly larger than the image itself. Um, it's just going to leave me with a nice little border. It's a beautiful, dark, kind of like an army green. You could use the other side, which the khaki side isn't bad at all. Um, maybe I'll do that on my on this one. Uh, my sample, I used the green, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and I'll use the, the, the tan, the khaki craft colored on this side. And so I cut this one out so it's got a little bit of a border. The second one has to match exactly in size because you're going to end up snipping that in half. And that bottom part is going to make the pocket here. So you need them to be exactly the same width. And I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this together. And I'll kind of explain as we go. You could use a glue stick. I'm using just some liquid adhesive right now. You could round your corners if you wanted. I like the nice, crisp, sharp corners. So I didn't do anything to my corners. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball that so I've got a nice a nicely spaced border all the way around. Anytime I make a card or a tag and I've got kind of like a mat of a background paper, I love when it's got a little bit of a border. So that's the base of the tag. 
Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the pocket on. And let's see. I don't want to put glue on the top. I almost made a mistake there. Um, I'm kind of famous for when I'm making a pocket, I get so excited that I'm assembling it half the time I look and I have put glue on the top. So I end up having to wipe that off. So I'm just going to lay this down directly over its mate here. And there we go. So I've, let me grab this. I've got this little pocket right here. I like that. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna glue our little decorator lady on. Now, I ended up, I attached, the, the bottom half of her is glued to that tap, to the pocket layer, but I didn't want her little arm here flopping loose. I thought um, it was likely to end up getting torn or tattered. So I just put the tiniest little bit of glue just along her arm. And it was just enough to sit on the border of this. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on her arm. And then I'm, I need to kind of eyeball. It looks like from about hips down is where I want the adhesive. I don't want it up too high because then she's going to actually make that pocket too narrow. So let's put her down there. Oh, she is so cute. I just love her. A cute little dress. Because we all dress just like that when we're decorating our house, don't we? Okay, so there's space behind her that's allowing this pocket to function like it should. Oh, I love her. And we are going to now cut out some of these little paint chips and we're going to attach them with just a little bit of foam tape. So I've done one already and I literally just, just cut that entire image out. So let me stick this one down. This one's a little bit behind this tag here. And again, I'm going to lay it right on top of its partner. So I think you can see that. And then for the next one, um, it doesn't matter which ones you, you cut out. See, I like the French blue, it's really pretty. I just thought this was a fun, sorry, I'm cutting off camera, you can't see that. I just thought it was a fun little accent. Anytime I can add dimension to a project, I love it. So we've got another little paint chip cut out. I'm just going to snip a little piece of foam tape. Stick it to the back. And peel that up. When you don't have nails, sometimes that foam tape is really difficult to use. And I'm going to... Make sure this is centered right over that image. Okay, so I've got two of them done on here. I went ahead on my sample. I did a third. I also added uh, the chip for the Imperial Red. And we are almost done. You could cover the back with something if you wanted, but again, I wasn't sure what I'm gonna use mine for. So on this one, I do like that it's the lighter craft colored because I can definitely write on that if I want. I may end up uh, just printing out a wallpaper and gluing it to the back of this just so it's finished on both sides. But I, I actually don't mind the look of the file folder. For this last little touch, I just, I used a, a hole punch. I set an eyelet and I just put a little bit of this. It's kind of a thick, I, I pulled it off the bakery box. Um, it's just some kind of a twine. I Maybe it's a real baker's twine since it came from the bakery, but I liked that it had a little bit of 
got a little bit of texture to it. It's like a little fancy little tassel. And that's all there was to it. I, I love how she looks. I love the paint chips. I just, I'm crazy about this bundle. And I probably am going to go back and see what else I can make out of that. So I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for joining us for Tag Team Friday today. Um, come back next week and see what one of the other designers has put together for a tag. Happy crafting.